No video today. We got a uh, problem with the the fan 125. We got ignition on, and then we got to have the clutch pulled in and mold in the camera. So my son's gonna do that. We're in neutral. We got kill switch. Nothing. The, the actual kill switch itself, we can see that. So I'm hoping that that's going to be at fault. So we'll get this shroud open and we'll have a look inside. Two screws. Have to move the cable out of the way. Because it's a Chinese slash Japanese bike using a JAS screwdriver which as you all know or all should know by now stands for Japanese industry standard is slightly different to our Philips or Posi can you see that so you can pick them up online a set of four for about 15 20 pound here in the UK so they worth getting because they lock themselves into the screws a lot easier especially if you come up top on things like your brake reservoir where that is a positive fit in there a normal Phillips screwdriver you'll always have that little cant that out so we'll take this open and we'll have a look right we've opened up the control switch and straight away we can see that a wire is coming loose off the control switch right so as you can see we've soldered the wire back onto the terminal and put a new screw behind the actual kill switch we've got that switch to run so we'll turn the ignition on clutch in and give him a squeeze put this back together now we hope that helps if you come out to your bike for any reason and it's just nothing on the switch like that and you've got your clutch pulled in first port of call would be one of the three switches your clutch switch your kill switch or your side stand switch now this bike has got a side stand switch but it's only when it's in gear it'll cut the engine so just a quick video hope that helps stay tuned Please click like and subscribe down below. Catch you on the next one.